How's it going guys? Welcome back to my channel. So, we are at another little vacation slash staycation. So we're currently in Bournemouth with the family. So we're gonna stay here for a few nights in this beautiful home, which I'm gonna show you guys. There's about a good 26, 28 of us. And we're gonna enjoy this place yeah. like it's our own home. So stay tuned. Check out this beautiful home behind me. It's got a massive driveway. There's about a good six cars here. Let's go inside. So this is one of the rooms. I don't know how many how many rooms there are, but this is a nice purple room. And this is the hallway. Here is the dining room, massive, luxury, king-size dining room. This is a little lounge area. You've got the TV there. Here is the kitchen. All the utensils that you would need. Here is another lounge area. Got the barbecue here ready for us. All the tools and equipment here if you want to do one. Got plenty of fridge and freezers. It's the utility room. And a guest toilet. This is the little garden set up here. At the barbecue, oh yeah. Nice little seating areas around here. Beautiful. Let's go upstairs. We've got the groom here getting married soon. <laughs> this is a second floor landing. As you can see, everywhere is post-it noted with each family's Names, just so that we, we don't forget whose room is whose. And up there is the third floor. So this is our room here. There's a double bed, there's a single bed for the little one. And then we've also got an ensuite as well. With a toilet, a sink, and a shower. This is another one of the rooms. This is the green room, as you can see the theme of this is all in this forest green. This is probably one of the nicer rooms. And we also got a sauna in here as well. Nice. This is another room on the third floor. As you can see, most rooms have got a double bed and a single bed and majority of the rooms have got a ensuite as well so we have made it onto the beach so this is the bournemouth beach so it's about 20 minutes away from the actual place that we're staying at so it's not not a huge distance it's a 20 minute walk but look at the views going down this steep hill landing on the beach side Right guys, so this is the first day here, yeah, and we've all lost a few pounds. This brother here, he was, he was a sumo wrestler before, now you can see, he weighs, he weighs about 11 I'm stones. I'm I'm going to UFC now. <laughs> I lost weight, I lost a stone, look at Shuni. <laughs> I can't see Shuni up anymore. 
<laughs> now, but all serious, dude, we've been walking for about a good hour, hour and a half now. Because we we literally were at the other side of the beach. Now we're gonna we're walking like, we're walking so much to get some food. Now it's it's on the other side of the beach. So that's a bit of a headache. But we're getting there. So we finally made it to the shopping area of the beach. This is where you'll find the Ferris wheel, shops, casinos and other restaurants as well. We were initially going to go to Harry Ramsden's uh, fish and chips because obviously you're in a beach and you want to have fish and chips. But when we asked the guys, they were like, you know what? The, the fish and everything else is cooked in the same oil um, as all the meats and everything of that sort. So we thought, you know what? That's a no way because obviously for us Muslims, we can't have food that's contaminated with other meat within the same oil. So now we came to the, at this pizza place. Uh, I think it's called Hot Rocks. We ordered a margarita and some fries. Check out this pizza slice. Nice Italian pizza, thin crust. Not bad, it's okay. I would prefer maybe a bit more toppings on here. Um, not much cheese to be fair. That's like £12.95 for like six slices. Worth it? Nah, probably not. But well, you know what? I'm hungry. So anything is nice at the moment. So we went into the arcade just to warm ourselves up because at the time it was quite windy and cold outside. Alright then guys, so this is the evening time now and all the ladies are in the kitchen cooking and making some delicious food. Well they're not making anything, they're just preparing all this food just from home. Let's see what we got. We got some fula, got some burgers. More flour. Salad. 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 Thanks to all the ladies for making and preparing the food. We also had some games and activities to keep us occupied. Shisha was much needed with the boys. We also Netflixed and chilled. This was around about 1.30am. Breakfast in the making. Production. 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 Got a full on warehouse here. <laughs> We had to go with the full English for breakfast. Alright, so this is day two. We are on our way to the Bournemouth Town Centre to check this to check the town centre out. We're also gonna be seeing some beautiful scenery along the way. So obviously we're gonna be going along the coastline of the, of the beach. So we're gonna, we're gonna be checking that out as well. Markets. So we've come to Bournemouth town hoping that we would go to some new and exciting places in the town. But guess where we come first? Primark. Thank the ladies. So this is us deciding as to where we should eat for the evening. It was a long and hard battle as to where we would decide to eat. When you can't decide where you want to go to eat, you either got Turkish on this side or you got bloody Indian on this side. We don't know where we're going. <laughs> Once the food was finally sorted, we all sat down, had a bit of a chat whilst listening to some peaceful and relaxing music. curry tonight we've got some chops on the menu and we got some chicken karai from Queen Montage in Bournemouth 
Food is not bad to be fair. So here are just a few of the many dishes that we've got. I must say the food was actually quite nice. I think what made it even nicer was the fact that we all sat together on one massive table and enjoyed each other's company whilst enjoying some delicious food. We also prayed Jumma Salah at the beautiful Bournemouth Mosque, which was about 10 minute drive from the Bournemouth beach. Right there guys, so we are on the beach again. This time it's a, it's a nicer day, so the sun's out. It's not hot exactly, but it's windy, but it's still a nice weather. And as you can see behind me, Bournemouth beach. So we ended up racing, however, it failed miserably for myself. As you'll see, I fell flat on my face. However, to redeem myself, we did have another go, and this time I was victorious. But all in all, this was a great experience. This was the first time that me and my in-laws stayed together at a little vacation. The weather wasn't the greatest. However, we made it work by sticking together. We had some amazing food and amazing snacks. All thanks to everyone's contribution. Bournemouth itself is beautiful. Highly recommended for anyone that hasn't been. Walking on the sand was so nice and soft. My son absolutely enjoyed it. We ended our Bournemouth adventure by having some delicious ice cream. Well, that is it pretty much for this Bournemouth vlog. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys on the next one.